Elon Musk's true plans with Neuralink. When the world has someone named Elon Musk, there are huge expectations. This guy has an unusual passion project, a neural tech company called Neuralink that wants to put wires in people's brains. Musk co-founded the company back in 2016, and it remained under the radar until 2017, when the Wall Street Journal broke the news that he had established the company to merge computers with human brains. But what are Elon Musk's true plans with Neuralink? Let's see. Neuralink is a device, specifically a brain-machine interface, that will be surgically implanted into your brain and with it, you'll be able to communicate with machines and even control them. It will also help study and cure various medical problems. Since the company was founded in 2016, it has been working in developing this technology ever since. The Neuralink chipset, called N1 chipset, will be installed in the skull, which is 8 millimeters in diameter and has multiple wires housing electrodes and insulation for the wires. These wires will be surgically placed inside your brain using a robot. As per the company, the wires are as thick as the neurons in the brain, and thinner than a strand of hair at 100 micrometers. Neuralink will be able to send and receive electrical signals through the brain to control machines. Right now, the company has said that we will be able to control basic devices, like our smartphone, computer, and maybe even type using our thoughts. Now, to understand how Neuralink works, we must understand that our brain sends information to different parts of your body using neurons. These neurons in your brain connect with each other to form a large network and communicate using chemical signals, called neurotransmitters. This reaction generates an electric field, and we can record these reactions by placing electrodes nearby. These electrodes can then understand the electrical signal in our brain and translate them into an algorithm that a machine can read. This way, Neuralink will be able to read what we are thinking and find a way for us to talk to machines without even opening our mouths. The goal of the N1 chip is to record and stimulate electrical spikes inside our brains. We will also be able to learn different skills using a dedicated application. At the moment, Neuralink uses a Bluetooth radio, but that may change in the future. It is certain that whatever form the technology shall take ultimately will be wireless. In fact, it's one of the top priorities of the Neuralink team. What about installing the device? Musk said that the procedure is complex and beyond the capabilities of even skilled human hands. A robot will carry out the insertion, which is why Neuralink will be using its specially developed robots to carry out the quick and precise insertion of the device into the cortex. The Neuralink robot will insert the module into our brain using a microscope and needles the size of 24 microns. The operation will require a 2 mm incision in the skull, which will be dilated up to 8 mm. After the procedure is complete, the exposed part of the skull will be covered with the chipset module, while the person would be under partial anesthesia during the process. Musk also said that there won't be any wires or antennas coming out of your head after the device has been installed. This robot can make the precise movements necessary to install the threads into your brain. It sounds like a simple task, but at the small scale that the threads are, it becomes a task that's about as complicated as landing a space rocket safely back on Earth something Musk is all too familiar with. These things are really, really small. You really can't manipulate them with your hands. The threads are peeled off one at a time by the robot to place into the brain. So we had to build a surgical robot. The surgery is not possible without the robot, said Max Hodak, the president of Neuralink. Having a bionic superbrain chip robotically implanted into your head is something most of us would consider a once-in-a-lifetime experience. Musk and his team want to keep it that way. Software updates are already inconvenient and always happen whenever we don't want them to. The idea of having to make a trip to the local neurosurgeon every time the software wants to run an update takes away a glimpse of the appeal that having a super brain might bring. So a large piece of Neuralink resides outside the skull, as a wearable behind your ear. This wearable, called the Link, houses the software as well as the battery. This way, when you're at 5% battery life, you can just remove the device to recharge it. Same with the software update. The processing happens on the link. What are Neuralink's goals? The resulting computer power, according to Musk, will allow humans to be broadly competitive with rapidly developing AI. AI does not need to hate us to destroy us. We would roll over an anthill that's in the way of a road. And that the potential for intelligence in computers is far greater than in biology. 
I created Neuralink specifically to address the AI symbiosis problem, which I think is an existential threat, says Elon Musk. In the nearer term, Musk sees the company as solving for brain ailments and injuries, from depression and anxiety to memory loss or dementia and paralysis. Neuralink itself is an ambitious project, and to make it work on living beings is a remarkable feat. Musk believes the potential of a link in the skull is in the realms of science fiction. At last year's event, Musk forecasted that Neuralink would someday save and replay memories. He thinks it's possible to store memories as a backup and restore the memories. Ultimately, you could potentially download them into a new body, or into a robot body, and the future is going to be a weird one, said Musk. Decoding brain signals can help a disabled person understand what a speechless person is feeling, and more. Identifying the patterns of neuron activity is a data-intense task, so the researchers have proposed a new data-driven model that classified an fMRI scan and maps it to the corresponding word within a fixed vocabulary. According to the researchers, their model can leverage deep learning to decode brain activities in the form of fMRI scans into text. To get to the level of integrating with AI, this is where Musk sort of is going off into aspirational fantasy land. But it is hard to predict how technology is going to change in 20 years, said Andrew Hires, an assistant professor of neurobiology at the University of California. According to Hires, we would need electrodes precise enough to stimulate individual neurons and, perhaps more importantly, a better understanding of the brain itself. We don't understand the rules by which the brain reorganizes to learn things, he said. Riley Green of Imperial College London pointed towards the ethical problems which could arise in a world where Neuralink could connect AI to people's brains. The biggest concern is how you manage to actually protect the information in that sort of interface, she said. Neuralink's biggest hurdle also comes long before it tries to put AI in anyone's brain. To get any of these devices into your brain is very, very high-risk surgery, Green said, adding that the idea of a healthy person opting for brain surgery was troubling. People do it because they have severe limitations and there is a potential there to improve their life. Doing it for fun is not a great idea, she said. This doesn't rule out the possibility that Neuralink will become a real, applicable technology. It could potentially happen in Elon Musk's lifetime, said Hires. Even though Neuralink has already done some animal testing, experts have questioned Musk's claims on human testing timelines. Musk shared that Neuralink could start the first human trial later this year during a conversation with a Twitter user. Jamun Kamai asked the CEO, Hi Elon Musk, I've been thinking for a long time how to write this to you, but I'll keep it very simple. I was in a car accident 20 years ago and have been paralyzed from the shoulders ever since. I am always available for clinical studies at Neuralink. Please get in touch. Neuralink is working very hard to ensure implant safety and is in close communication with the FDA. If things go well, we may be able to do initial human trials later this year, Musk replied. At the time, the CEO gave the timeline in response to another user's request to join human trials for the product, which is designed to implant artificial intelligence into human brains, as well as potentially cure neurological diseases, like Alzheimer's and Parkinson's. Neuralink is working super hard to ensure implant safety and is in close communication with the FDA, Musk said on Twitter in response to another user's request to join human trials. If things go well, we might be able to do initial human trials later this year. What do you think about Musk Neuralink? Do you think it will change the world and make it all better? Let us know in the comments down below. Make sure you subscribe to our channel and turn on your post notifications so you never miss a video from us. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching.